Yesterday, Google had hosted its annual I.O. Developer Conference, where they unveiled a powerful lineup of new tools from cutting-edge large language models to next-gen coding agents. One standout reveal was Jules, an autonomous AI coding agent that's powered by the new Gemini 2.5 Pro. Jules works asynchronously across your codebase, tackling tasks like bug fixes and refactoring, essentially helping you knock off multiple items off of your to-do list at once. But what's wild is that Jules is completely free and available starting today. This move appears to be directly countering the newly launched OpenAI Codex update. What's nice is that it integrates with GitHub, understands your code base, and works asynchronously so that you can move forward with what matters more. So how it works is pretty interesting. You simply connect it to GitHub and then you add in whatever branch you want to implement the change to. And in this case, you can go ahead and ask any sort of request like can you add a dark mode? And then you can ask Jewel work on tackling this task so it is first reading up the vm and in this case it will get full contextual awareness of your code base before it starts planning on making the change so that it is able to make changes that fit the preference of what your code base is and it's going to stay aligned to whatever was coded beforehand and then you can see right now that it has approved the plan and it has generated the new code for the dark mode and then after what you could do is you can go ahead and you can either commit this change, uh, create this PR request, and then publish it to the branch directly from Jules. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So in short, Jules is an AI coding agent that is built to handle tasks like bug fixes, refactoring, uh, your test, vision bumps, and this is where you can actually focus on the meaningful part of your code base. It is where you have a GitHub integration that imports your repo, clones it to a cloud VM, and creates the PR. It is capable of auto task handling where it signs tasks through prompts or GitHub labels, and it has a transparent workflow where it shares its plans, reasonings, as well as code diffs and run tests. What's also nice is that there is an audio summary feature where you can quickly catch up on the code changes through a podcast that it creates after it has created all the changes. So this is kind of interesting how they implemented this within Jules. But as I stated, you can easily get started with the Google account by clicking on Try Jules, and it will take you to this page over here. So after you have connected your GitHub repo, you can then select whatever repo you want to work with. These are just a couple of random ones that I have. But let's say we have our DeepSeek web crawler repo. And what you can also do is select the branch that you want to work in. In this case, only on one. But you can now work with Jules to work on any sort of task that you might have. Now, they also have a set of different prompts that you can use to help you get started. Like if it's for everyday dev tasks, you can use a couple of these different tasks. But overall, there are a list of different prompts that you can use in different categories from debugging to starting your own uh, project from scratch that you can even develop within Jules. So let's try this out. This is where we're going to initialize a new Express app with cores enabled. And this is where we're going to have it create a new backend application using Node.js and Express framework. And we're also going to make sure cores which is the cross origin resource sharing is enabled. So it is going to work on breaking down this project and help us execute this task. So it looks like it is working right now and it has initialized the new express app. It is working on a couple of these plans. So we can see first it initializes the new project where it created the new package.json file using the npm initialization command, installed express and cores dependencies, created the express application file and then it also added the start script created a readme file and submitted the changes so you can see that it is doing all of this within the terminal and it is working on accomplishing this task for us and one thing i want to mention is that there's actually a daily task limit you get five a day per account so keep that in mind it is something that will get used up pretty quickly if you're working on a lot of different tasks so keep that in mind so it looks like it has finished generating 
our initialization of a new express app with chorus enabled and now what you can do is actually publish it to the branch but we're actually going to take a look and review through all the things it has changed so you can see the readme file it has configured the index.js file the package and then also the package.json file so if we are going to approve this you can simply go ahead and publish this to the branch and then it will actually add it to our github repository so if you actually want to view the branch you can click on this button which will take you to the test repo that i had created it set up the express cores app for us and you can see all the files have been now committed to this repo which is now private and this way you can see how easy it was for me to set this up now this is pretty interesting this is a post by daniel on twitter who was testing out jules versus codex with a lazy prompt to analyze a project and write a unit test to cover 100 percent and it was able to actually output more with the jules coding agent you can see the response that was outputted from codex versus what was outputted from the jules coding agent and after each update gotten from codex it looks like it did a better job in terms of conducting the testing with the ai agent uh, he also noticed that it's capable of live file updates this is where it streams progressively instead of appearing all at once which is pretty interesting and you can also test completions afterwards to see if it's actually a correct setup for the code that was generated now since we already set up this express app we're going to actually build on top of it and add new commits to it this is where we're going to ask it to build the dashboard for the next segment which is the front end and we're going to ask it to build a crm dashboard that has a sidebar navigation to track clients leads tasks notes and dashboards pages for viewing and managing clients as well as a login and sign up page so you can see right now it is now working on setting up the front end project structure with the base express app that we had developed it has taken in our prompt and it's going to now work on autonomously focusing on generating the code for our front end using the gemini 2.5 pro so it looks like it has now updated all the necessary uh, folders or files that needed to be changed and we now have our crm dashboard fully developed the back end is configured and the front end is now generated we're going to publish it to the branch and then open it up so it has now added the branch and you can actually take a look at the dashboard ui over here which has generated all the files for it but what we're going to do now is start this up we're going to clone this repository go into our command prompt once you are here we can type in git clone and then paste in the link and click enter this will clone the repo and now what we're going to do is get into the test repo by typing in cd test repo and then pasting in npm install once that is done we're going to start and run this application with the npm start command and now we can access it on our local host so it is running right now and you can see it created the login and sign up page we're actually going to create an account after it'll take you to the crm dashboard and you can see that it did a pretty good job in terms of creating the base structure of our app you have the main dashboard you can manage all your clients here leads tasks and notes now a lot of these components haven't been configured yet but i'm going to work with the agent to actually restructure this full-on demo to make it look better and add more functionality and there we go going back into jules i finally revamped the crm system revamped how the ui looks and in this case this is the sign up page but a cool thing is is that if you click on needing a demo credential it'll actually provide a demo credential that you can autofill and close which is pretty cool and then you can click on login you can see the loading page and then it loads up this crm dashboard which looks amazing this is something that was fully developed you can see that notification that popped up but overall you can see that there's so many different components that were coded out with jules they added animations and different components that you can view all of these different features for the crm dashboard there's actually a customers tab that lets you manage all your customers like a, a real crm dashboard would this was all fully coded out with a single prompt after i revamped it after we changed the initial design and it's just truly insane but that's basically it for today's video on jules this is a fully free cloud-based asynchronous ai coder and i highly recommend that you take a look at it as it's completely free and it's a great better alternative than codex so i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you subscribe to the second channel follow me on the newsletter as well as joining the discord also a side note make sure you follow the twitter 
And I highly recommend that you stay tuned for tomorrow's upload because it's most likely going to be around the cloud for Sonnet or the Opus model, which should be released tomorrow with the internal leaks I have gotten. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Turn on the notification bell, subscribe, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.